So today we're going to be reviewing the brand new e.l.f. Camo Hydrating CC Cream. Now this just recently launched and I couldn't wait to test it out on our mature skin. We're going to talk about the difference between this formula and the original Camo CC Cream and if it's really a dupe to the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Nude Glow Skin Tint. So in case you're interested, and keep on watching. Hey guys, it's Kat and welcome to my channel. You guys, I am so excited for this because finally they're coming out with a hydrating CC cream. Now, I know some of you guys don't like the original formula, but I have some thoughts about this. I've been testing it out recently and I couldn't wait to give my informed opinion. So be sure to watch till the end to see if this is really worth the $15. $15, I know, right? So without further ado, let's get into the video. I could not wait to test this out. I really wanted a hydrating CC cream because even though I do like the original formula, it just provides such beautiful full coverage. It tends to be slightly drying on my skin. I am so excited about a hydrating formula because I am 56 years old. I have normal to dry skin. And now that it's officially winter, my skin is super dry, super parched and as much as I hydrate, as much as I use my skincare, it tends to run a little dry, especially when it gets cold. So I couldn't wait to test this out and let you know what I think about it. Now let's talk about the specs. It retails for $15, it comes in 30 shades. It's supposed to provide full coverage, a dewy finish, SPF of 30, and of course it contains hyaluronic acid, vitamin B5, and tremella mushroom. What the heck is tremella mushroom? I mean, I don't know. So I also picked up the brand new camo liquid blushes. I got several colors. We are gonna test those out as well. So yeah, let's just apply some primer. Now, when I was reading the directions to this new CC cream, it says to apply the e.l.f. liquid poreless putty primer. So you know what, I'm gonna be a good girl today. I am gonna apply a little bit of primer today because my skin is a little dry. It's on the drier side today. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this. So I'm just gonna put it where I have the most porous areas and the most texture and just let that absorb. This is not a bad primer, especially if you have texture and fine lines, and it really helps smooth out your complexion and give you a smooth canvas to work with. The shade that I picked out was Light 205N. It's neutral with olive undertones, so cross your fingers. What's really cool about this is they actually have the expiration date on the bottom. This expires September of 2025, so that's a really good long shelf life. So it's packaged almost identical as the original CC cream, but it has a white top. I'm gonna to go ahead and pump it out and show you on the back of my hand, the consistency. This is very, very, I would say silky and very hydrating just to the touch. And it's funny because somebody had mentioned that it's possibly a dupe to the IT Cosmetics CC Nude Glow. Well, let me tell you something. I'm gonna show you the difference. Now this is in the shade light, a lot of detail there, right? The difference between that is that this, the CC Nude Glow is a brightening glow serum. It has a broad spectrum of SPF 40, color correcting as well, medium coverage, skin tint. This is actually a skin tint. This is touting itself as a foundation. So immediately, you know me, I wanted to see what the difference was. This is way runnier, it's way thinner in consistency than the hydrating camo cream and immediately this is super i don't want to say oily but i remember in my review when i reviewed it oily girls will not like this skin tint this is a skin tint this is supposed to be a full-blown foundation providing full coverage and immediately you can feel the difference the texture the consistency the elf definitely has a thicker consistency and the it cosmetics has more of a oily an oily texture but yeah I actually really like the CC Nude Glow, but it doesn't provide a whole lot of coverage, plus the longevity was not that fantastic, but you know me, I like to put foundations through the ringer. Now that we know the difference between all three of them, let's go ahead and apply the hydrating CC cream. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to the back of my hand. That's maybe half a pump. Now, when I read it was full coverage, I was like, oh boy, I love a lot of skin tints. I love my skin peeking through. But I thought maybe full coverage, hydrating, we'll see. So I'm gonna apply it with my fingertips and that's the way I've been applying it this week. And very similar to the RMS Re-Evolve Foundation, 
it applies beautifully with your fingertips. If you're warming up the product on your hand, it just applies super smooth. And this shade, even though it has a neutral undertone, I've lost a lot of my tan from over the summer, so I think it's a good shade match for me. Oh yeah, this feels like silk. So now I'm just gonna take my Dampen Beauty Blender and just kind of press that in. You really don't need a beauty blender. You can actually just use your fingertips, but just to make sure we get a nice, smooth cat hair complexion. All right, so that's just half a pump, a quarter of a pump on my right side. And I'm relying on the natural daylight right now because it's such a beautiful day here in Chattanooga. And so you could see it in almost natural daylight as opposed to studio lights. But this is so pretty. It is so beautiful and so hydrating. My skin has been so dry recently. And this honestly feels like you're applying a moisturizer, which I absolutely love. This has really fantastic coverage, but I'll be honest with you, I don't think it's full coverage. I think it's medium coverage, although you can build it up. But sometimes I just like letting my skin peek through. Less is more. That just blended in so beautifully. Wow, and I still have a tiny bit. And you can still see my hyperpigmentation peeking through, but seriously, it just feels like I'm putting on moisturizer, which I love because, oh, my skin has been so dry. So here is just one pump, not even a whole pump, but do you see how pretty? It just smoothed the complexion. It evened out my skin tone. It's touting full coverage. But like I said, I think on my complexion it is more of a medium coverage. It's definitely a dewy finish. And this is supposed to be good for dry, oily, and combination skin. So pretty much the entire gamut. But I love how they put dry skin first. So take that with a grain of salt. You know how they say it's good for everybody, but you never know. But when they put dry skin listed first, I was like, that's me. So this is looking super good. I'm gonna go in with concealer. I think what I wanna do is I'm gonna go in with the Flawless Brightening Concealer from e.l.f. Again, a fantastic hydrating serum concealer. I'm just gonna kinda push that up and just apply a tiny bit. Let that marinate. As this is marinating, I wanna talk about the new camo liquid blushes. Apparently this is supposed to be like the Rare Beauty liquid blushes, which you know what? I like them, but they're so pigmented. It's super difficult to blend out. I ended up giving my blush to Ava. She loves it, but so I'm gonna go ahead and tap this in. Now the new e.l.f. camo liquid blush comes in 10 shades and it retails for $7. Now it also is infused with skincare like hyaluronic acid, rose flower water, and hibiscus flower extract. It's supposed to provide a dewy finish, it's highly pigmented, and $7, man, that is an awesome price. Concealer's on, looking good. Since this is a hydrating foundation, I'm gonna go in with a powder foundation and I'm just going in with Hey Tabby, <laughs> I'm just going in with the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. This is one of my all time favorites, especially for a powder formula. It's very seamless on the skin and I'm in the shade Chocolate Sunday. Oh, hi Hondo. You wanna come sit down? Now for some eggnog. Let's go ahead and try out the Camo Liquid Blush. Ooh, I'm so excited. Now I picked up three shades. They are $7 each and I thought, this is such a great deal, especially if they're really good blushes. I got the shades Coral Crush, coming in hot pink. And this one that I played around with, this is called Berry Well. This is like a cool mauve shade. When they first arrived, I was like, these don't look as vibrant as they do online. It is what it is. But man, once you apply it, they're so bright and pigmented. So I wanna go ahead and swatch these blushes for you. Oh, I'm excited. I love new drugstore makeup. They're so exciting. Okay, this is coming in hot pink. I think it'll be perfect for springtime. Ooh, super bright. Coral Crush. Ooh, this will look really pretty on a deeper skin tone, but that's Coral Crush very well super dark now this is supposed to be long lasting highly pigmented and the directions was literally to apply one dot one dot of this blush so i think i'm going to go with very well 
one dot, they say one dot, which is, oh. And they did suggest to use the Duo Complexion Brush, which I have right here. And you can see I have some remnants of Very Well because I tested this out yesterday. One dot, and I'm gonna place it kind of high up. Ooh, that's just one dot. And then I'm gonna take my fingertips. I mean, look at that pigment. You really, <laughs> you really don't need a lot so this is really pigmented, but at the same time, it's really hydrating and you can use your brush and swirl. Typically, I don't like to swirl my blush, especially if it's a liquid or cream because you're just moving the product around. But in this case, I think it looks great. And then you can just go ahead and tap it like that. Isn't that beautiful? Do you see how it just shears out? It's beautiful, it's pigmented, but it's so much easier to work with than the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush, and that is like twice as expensive. One dot, oops. What I like about this liquid blush, you have time to work with it. Just using that heat. I mean, look how scary that is at first. Don't get scared. <laughs> I was terrified at first when I applied it yesterday. I was like, I look like a clown, but no. Then you just take any, you can take any blush, you can take any brush, then just tap it and then swirl it. I think I got a little bit too much on this side, but that's okay. You can swirl it and tap. I found that that method works really well for me because you're getting the product, you're blending it out, but then you're ensuring it to stay in place by tapping it or stippling it in. But look at that. Oh, so fresh and so pretty. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup and we're gonna go out in natural daylight and see exactly what it looks like. And here we are with the final look. Now for lips, I just went in with Elf's Lip Stain in Berry Queen. It comes out super dark, but as you blot it, it just is really, really pretty. And I thought with the holiday season here, I thought it would be nice to have a pop of berry color as opposed to your typical red. I think it just ties in the whole look together, especially with the blush Berry Well. I think this look is really, really pretty. It does look like I went heavy handed with the blush, but you can always sheer it out with your Dampen Beauty sponge and just tap it in like that. I'm telling you, these blushes are super pigmented. And remember, we only applied one dot. So if you run into trouble, just use your Dampen Beauty sponge and just tap it like that. And you sheer it out like that. I mean, this is absolutely stunning. And let me tell you something, the longevity on these pigmented blushes amazing. I went ice skating last night. I wore the same shade. It hung in there throughout the cold, throughout the ice skating, throughout dinner. I'm going to go ahead and insert a picture taken from my phone in horrible lighting in the restaurant, but you can see how my foundation looks still so smooth after seven hours and the blush is really hanging in there. So let's go ahead out in natural daylight and see exactly what this looks like. And we're back and I'm ready to give you my final thoughts on the brand new e.l.f. Camo Hydrating CC Cream. Now normally I would do an all day wear test and take you through out my entire day, but I tested it out yesterday and this is a product that I really love. Now, if you have normal to dry skin like I do and you want something quick and easy to throw on that's not gonna break the bank, you guys run, don't walk get this new hydrating CC cream. It is beautiful on the skin. The only thing that I disagree with on this foundation, it does not provide full coverage unless you slather it on. And at our age, we want it to look skin-like, smooth, not cakey. I just used one pump for my entire face and I think it did a beautiful job. I think the consistency is perfection. It just is so smoothing on the skin. It's hydrating and especially if your skin is running a little dry this winter season, it's literally like applying skincare. It feels so good, so hydrating. And when it dries down, it's not sticky or tacky. You know, you can move your hair and it's not going to stick to your face. I absolutely love this foundation. This is a winner, winner chicken dinner. Absolutely love it. You can't beat the price point, 30 shades. Remember, I'm in the shade Light 205N. It's a neutral with olive undertones. And remember, it has a shelf life of two years. No, yeah, mine expires, what, 2025 in September? So it has a great long shelf life. But yeah, e.l.f. truly knocked it out of the park with this new camo hydrating CC cream. Now let's talk about the liquid camo blush. Love it, love it. 
super pigmented. I think it requires a learning curve when you're applying it. Remember, just one dot, that is all you need. I just love how it's dewy on the skin, but not sticky either. I mean, this is good. This is really good. And I've been on a blush kick recently, and this is probably one of the better blushes I've tried all year long. So I highly recommend this. Yes, definitely fantastic deal and also the blush but yes so thank you so much for hanging out with me today i hope you had fun i know i did and if you enjoy this type of content please consider subscribing i would love it if you'd be a part of our family but for now mahalkita i love you and i hope to see you in the next one bye